Can you fathom the incredible value of waste information in today's economy? Dr. Hua A. Lim, a renowned author and expert in the field of bioinformatics, offers a compelling perspective on this matter. Picture a bustling city, its streets filled with cars, trucks, and buses. The exhaust fumes they generate are considered waste, yet imagine if we could harness this waste, turbocharge it, and convert it into something beneficial. This, according to Dr. Lim, is precisely what's happening in our information-driven economy. Dr. Lim paints a picture of a new generation of enterprises, born out of the information exhaust emitted by older businesses. The twist? These offshoots often surpass their parent companies in value. Take Quotron, for instance. This company provided security price information to brokerage firms. In 1986, Citicorp purchased it for a whopping $628 million. Quotron didn't have exclusive access to this information. It merely captured, processed, and recycled the transaction data generated by the brokerage industry itself. The result? A business valued higher than leading brokerage firms of the time, such as Payne Weber and Smith Barney. In a similar vein, Dr. Lim narrates the story of TV Guide, acquired by Rupert Murdoch in 1987 for over $2 billion. It was essentially a well-packaged listing of TV broadcast schedules. Yet, its market valuation surpassed that of any major broadcast network, including ABC, CBS, or NBC. Dr. Lim then brings us to the tale of the Official Airlines Guide, or OAG. It was a simple listing of monthly flight schedules, yet it sold for $750 million in 1988. Despite merely consolidating flight information, its market value exceeded most airlines and was only slightly less than U.S. Air. Last but not least, Dr. Lim speaks of the Yellow Pages. Compiled by telecommunications companies, these directories brought in more revenue than the standard telephone services offered by these very companies. In each of these stories, we see a peculiar inversion of value. Brokerage services, TV programs, flights, and telephone services seem to exist merely to generate information exhaust. This waste is then captured, turbocharged, and recycled into businesses that are often worth more than the original generators of the information. In conclusion, Dr. Lim presents us with an intriguing insight. The waste information generated by businesses is not waste at all. Instead, it is a gold mine, a tremendous business opportunity waiting to be harnessed. The examples he cites are testaments to the power and potential of the information economy. After all, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And in this case, information exhaust is indeed a treasure trove of opportunity.